everybody. In this week's video, I'm going to answer one of the most common questions I get. What supplements am I taking to get through menopause? I'm going to go through those supplements, but first I want to say, as a lot of you know, I am on hormone therapy. So I use estrogen and progesterone. But before that, I was strictly taking supplements and I'm also using the supplements to help me out with some of the most common side effects. So I want to help you out as well. And by the way, if you have any suggestions, let me know. I always scroll through your comments to see what is working for you. If this is your first time here, welcome. I would love for you to subscribe and or hit the notification button so you can be notified anytime I have a new video. So menopause hit me hard and really took me by surprise. I've talked about this quite a bit, but I went to a lot of different doctors to figure out what was going on with me. I was put on antidepressants at one point because of my mood swings and because of my brain fog. And that really wasn't helping with some of the other symptoms I was having. I wasn't able to sleep. I wasn't able to stay asleep. I had terrible night sweats. I had hot flashes. And finally, I landed on the floor of the television station where I worked with my heart racing out of control and I had to get some answers. So I have looked at and taken a lot of different supplements and here's what I have found works the best for me for some of the most common symptoms. Again, I'm not a doctor, but I am certainly a lifelong student and somebody who has tried everything and I wanna share with you what I think is working for me right now. So the first supplement I started using back at the very beginning was black cohosh root and it's labeled a traditional women's health remedy. This is the brand I use and I will put this at the bottom. It's the one that I feel works the best for me anyway, but it really did help with a lot of the different symptoms that I was dealing with several years ago. And even today, a few times I've gone off of it and I've noticed if I go off of it for a certain amount of time, I feel like I need it again. So black cohosh has definitely worked for me when it comes to night sweats and also for hot flashes. And you'll see this in a lot of the different products that are sold out there, but I use the black cohosh root. Uh, these are vegan capsules. I feel like these work the best for me. The next product that I use is vitamin D and I use it in the form of a liquid, not in the form of a pill. This has been shown to help reduce menopausal symptoms like the hot flashes and the night sweats, but also poor concentration and sleep disturbance. You've probably seen me make a lot of smoothies. I put the vitamin D inside my smoothie. That's an easier way for me to get these supplements down. So I'll make the smoothie and then I'll take a lot of the supplements unless I have to have them at night like the progesterone. I take a lot of these with that smoothie once I start eating. I intermittent fast, I do my smoothie, my supplements are often in that smoothie. Okay, the next product I take and I take this one at night and my cousin introduced me to this. It's 5-HTP. I take this at night. This one says it supports a positive mood. I think it has really made a huge difference when it comes to my serotonin levels, no question about that. Early on, I was put on antidepressants when I was in perimenopause because I didn't know I was in perimenopause. And since then, I have transitioned off of those and I'm taking 5-HTP. I take one capsule of this daily and um, I take it on an empty stomach actually. So I take it after I've had dinner and right before I go to bed at night. Your body uses it to produce serotonin and low serotonin, of course, is associated with anxiety, sleep disorder, weight gain, depression, other health problems. So this. I feel like has definitely helped me out with regard to mood and also has certainly helped me when it comes to sleeping. I'm sleeping much better than I ever have before. And I think a combination of these supplements along with the hormones that I'm taking have certainly made a big change in terms of what happens when I hit the bed because I used to dread going to sleep at night and now I feel like it's a lot easier and I feel like I'm also getting a really a restful sleep as well. Okay, one more thing, maca powder. I also add that to my smoothies. That is something that I've heard over time has helped out with menopausal symptoms. You know, I don't know how much of that you really need for it to make a difference, but I do one big scoop of that in my smoothies. I'll leave a link down below to the one that I like and that my stomach tolerates the best. But again, I have all of those in the afternoon once I have my first meal of the day. 
By the way, if you're learning anything new or you have any suggestions as to the supplements that are helping you during menopause, I would love to hear about it. Leave your comments below. I'm always scrolling through those as well. Okay, a few more changes that I've made to try and help myself out along with the supplements. They're lifestyle changes. And the first one is trying not to do late night scrolls. That was really, really hard for me. I wasn't able to sleep. It was kind of a catch 22. I wasn't able to sleep. So I would look at social media thinking that was gonna help me fall asleep a little bit or watch something or read something and that did the exact opposite. So I have stopped that nighttime scrolling. Even though I love TikTok and I love watching YouTube videos, I have tried to stop that nighttime scrolling. Next, health and wellness. Exercise, a huge part of what I'm doing all the time. Not only strength training, because I think my body is very different when it comes to weight gain and where I've gained my weight, but also I'm doing a lot of yoga these days. I enjoy it. It turns my mind off a bit. It lets me turn my cell phone off a bit. People can't get a hold of me when I'm in yoga because I put my phone away completely, but it does make a huge difference. And I think it also helps me out in terms of elongating my muscles and just making me feel better all around with my body. Finally, four other things that I try to avoid, and one you're gonna catch me on because you know I don't do this one too well, but processed food, avoid it. Spicy foods, I try not to have too many spicy foods even though I really like them. Alcohol, it can be really, really tough. Keep that to a low roar. Caffeine, this is a hard one for me. So I feel like if I'm hitting 75% of the things that I'm doing pretty okay. But I will tell you that when I do these, these things contribute to hot flashes in me. There's no question about it. I know it, I feel it. It increases the number I have during the day. And it also increases the intensity of my hot flashes. Caffeine is my big vice, so I do the best I can. But at least I try to eliminate the other things that cause those hot flashes, or at least intensify my hot flashes. And by the way, if you are in midlife and you're just kind of feeling feeling stuck about things, not necessarily just menopause, but just stuck in general, I'd love to help you out. If you jump over to my website and download my free Unlock Your Bold Guide, it has five steps to activate your inner bold so you can achieve your next chapter. And you can find that guide at tamsonfidel.com slash bold. I hope this helped you out a little bit. I'll continue doing these videos and let you know what's working for me because I think it's so important to share this information. And until next time.